Welcome to the Power Up by Gogi Claim Responsibility Meeting. I'm Coach Catherine and I am the Train the Trainer Specialist and will be your coordinator today. Coach Johnny Howe will be facilitating this Power Up series along with me. Gogi's intention is to support the growth of Power Up community meetings anywhere and everywhere they are desired. Joining us are Gogi coaches, G reps, and students who have made the practice of Gogi a priority and you a priority so you can experience Gogi along with them. Our goal is that you will actively follow along with us, have fun, and feel engaged in the material to be presented. Whether you are new to Gogi or a prior Gogi student, you will learn something new to take with you and apply. In our first team building meeting, this particular mentor circle voted to call itself Power Up First, which is fitting because we are the first. Uh, we are coming to you remotely from different cities and states. You will notice us prompting each other, raising our hands, or calling on each other to keep things moving. It's my pleasure now to call on our special guest. You may have heard of her as the founder of Gogi, Coach Taylor. Hello, everyone. If you have this book, this is the book that we are referring to, or the manual, or a printout. And according to the calendar, we are going to be working with the tool Claim Responsibility. So claim responsibility, hold this meeting on the third week of February, the third week of May, the third week of August, and the third week of November. However, if you don't fall into that category right now with when you're watching, that's cool too. We would rather have you here than not. So those are the weeks and this is the tool and we're happy that you're joining us. Hey coach, um, great to see all of you. Uh, welcome. Uh, so before the meetings, we go over our administrative duties. We identify uh, anything we need to take care of, uh, any questions that need to be asked. And then at this time, uh, we would break up into our peer, uh, uh, mentor circles. And you may not be able to tell, but we're actually in a circle around the world. And um, so with that, um, we're gonna pass it to uh, James to start the meeting. Good morning, everybody. All right, uh, to start your meeting, uh, the Gogi tools are studied worldwide according to the Gogi calendar of study. We unite with others according to this schedule so no one will feel that they are alone in their efforts to make positive decisions. We believe in everyone's ability to benefit from the positive community of individuals united on the Gogi calendar of study. Therefore, we call this power up, claim responsibility, meetings to order. Uh, and we will join in the tools and join in tools uh, being studied by students of Gogi's everywhere. Reviewing the tools, boss of my brain, belly breathing, five second light switch, positive thoughts, positive words, positive actions, claim responsibility, let go, let go, forgive, what if, Reality check, ultimate freedom. Power up, purpose. The objectives of power up community meetings is to reinforce the use of Gogi's mm -hmm. tools and support positive community experience. We accomplish our objectives through the study of the Gogi tools shared in peer mentor um, circles according to the Gogi calendars of study. Thank you for that, James. No problem. Uh, so at this time, we're all gonna do a check-in. Um, check is a little bit different. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to check in with how we feel now and compare it to an animal. It could be your favorite animal, an animal um, that you pick. It's your own choice. Uh, so for myself, I have the opportunity to uh, go hiking today uh, with a few of the guys that you see today. So I'm going to uh, say that I feel like a bear and I'm going to travel the woods and do what I can. So at this time, I'm going to tr give it to uh, Danny, who will be joining me on the hike. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Today, uh, my chicken, I would say uh, Jaguar. Jaguar. Be, uh, down. <laughs> <laughs> be, uh, be cautious as we're going through, uh, through the woods, uh, go and explore new, uh, new adventures. So got to be careful with that. Uh, with that, I'll pass it on to Coach Lee. Good morning, everybody. I, I guess today I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to be like an elephant. Um, I'm trying to be wise and I'm trying to be trying to help others and I'm trying to um, 
be a symbol of good of good fortune in my life and 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 that of others. So I will pass it to uh, Carolyn. I had to laugh when you talked about a squirrel. I teach embroidery mm -hmm. and I love to talk. You can already probably figure that one out mm -hmm. on a subject, and then I'll switch to someone else. So a lot of my students say squirrel, squirrel. Oh. And you're looking out my window right now. I live in a mountain community. The squirrel came down the hill as soon as Johnny was talking. About I guess I'm a squirrel. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to pass it to Ludi. Okay, so I think today I'm going to be a butterfly. Actually, not today. I always, always, always am a butterfly. Because uh, in my past, I have a lot of trouble in my life. So, and then uh, the butterfly go through all that stuff and then come out and fly and be free and just as a wonderful butterfly. <laughs> I pass to mm, Coach Taylor. Well, we're on uh, this quarantine and it limits our movement. So I'm spending more time on social media and somebody sent me a picture of a little baby sloth. Mm -hmm. And this little baby sloth was so deliberate with every step and he was just the cutest little thing Right now, I feel like I am in sloth mode in a very good way because I'm having to do things very carefully, very slowly, and mindfully. So I am the sloth. And I'm passing it over to Roberto. All right, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm feeling grateful for being here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that I feel like a panda bear this morning. Uh, slowly just enjoying my time uh, taking in the scenery and just doing me and being grateful for just having the opportunity just to eat <laughs> and sit around and possibly do nothing even though I'm going on a hike with the fellas today so with that I will pass it on to Gilbert all right being that we're sitting in the same car doing the uh, our gogi power-up meeting uh, I'm going to refer myself to, uh, uh, I want to say an insect, not, a, yeah, what's an animal? An insect, right? So in my head, the way I see the world and way, the way I think is I want to build relationships with everybody, with all kinds of different people and like just have great relationships with people and I associate it to a ladybug. I have never ever seen anybody smash or shoo a ladybug. Mm -hmm. Always a ladybug lands on you and you look at it, oh, look it, and then you put it in your hand and then you put it on a leaf or on a grass or whatever. And I, I think that's how I see myself right now. So I'm gonna pass it to, uh, let's go to Maria. I see you right there. Yes. Hi, good morning, everybody. Um, I like everybody's animals. And I think that um, I feel most today like an eagle. Hmm. I like um, gliding and soaring up high and just observing everything that's going on. I think I'm a natural born observer and that would be my animal if I had to choose. Nice to see everybody today. I will pick Coach Avonica. Good morning, everybody. Um, so it's hilarious because I was actually feeling very slothish this morning as well because I'm pretty tired. Um, and as the world's on pause, I'm moving much slower than usual and trying to be very present. So I'm going to switch my animal to a turtle. Mm. And I also have a very hard shell that I'm trying to come out from under. So I will say a turtle. Um, I am going to pick... James, have you gone? No. James, let's see, let's see what animal you are. 
All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, wow. Uh, well, I think I was thinking like more like a bear today uh, for a different reason that Johnny chose the bear. <laughs> uh, I felt like a bear because I just feel like going into hibernation because uh, it's been a long work week. So uh, it, uh, actually, uh, I had thoughts about this call because actually uh, I wasn't feeling well today. And uh, but uh, I thought about when we was inside and uh, we had football games and uh, I needed Johnny to come out because Johnny was my center. You know, everything starts with a quarterback in the center, right? And Johnny used to come to our game sometime when he wasn't feeling good. So uh, I couldn't um, use today as an excuse. So I showed up even though I feel like being like a bear today in hybrid eight. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Tenille, you went? No. Tenille. So today I feel a little lazy as well, but I want to be a big bird. Um, a big bird that just soars and flaps its wing once and gets across miles. Yeah. So that's what I am going to pick to choose to be today because I don't want to be lazy. I will pick Coach Catherine. Yeah. Thank you, Neil, oh, I'm so loving this. Um, I'm going to be in alignment today with Mountain Lion. Um, for me, that's a leadership um, animal. Also helps me to set and prioritize goals, accomplish goals, even more importantly. So I'm going to I'm going to be the Mountain Lion. I'm going to pick uh, Jonathan. All right. Uh, good morning, everyone. All right, so to the, just like James, I, I don't feel the best. Uh, so the animal I'm choosing is the cat. Reason being is it, it, when the cat starts uh, coughing up hairballs, my tonsils are swollen. So uh, that, that's kind of what I'm feeling like right now. Um, but I'm happy to be here. Um, Ernesto, you, you ready to check in? I'm trying to figure out why it looks like Ernesto's in a prison van. Yeah, I was saying, I was thinking the same thing. Show your hands, Ernesto. Make sure you're not handcuffed. <laughs> Coming at you. Okay, good morning. Uh, man, everybody yeah, took my, my animals today, but uh, I think uh, if I was to choose an animal today, I would pick a lemur monkey because uh, I'm off to work today and I'm going to be jumping from branch to branch. <laughs> And I'm just gonna be loud and and, and uh, noisy, and I'm a little uh, I'm a little jealous of you guys going hiking. I saw the videos on Facebook last week of the uh, Angeles uh, Los Angeles National Forest. So uh, you guys, when you guys go hiking out there, you know, be safe and uh, and, and you know, have fun. Thank you. Uh, who has not? Let me see who hasn't gone today. Uh, uh, let me see. Has gone. Hello. Partida, you, you've gone in Gilbert's gone. <laughs> hello, Cynthia. Oh, Cynthia. Hello, oh, Cynthia. Man. Good morning, Ernie. Yeah, I, I pick you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You don't have much of a choice, but OK. <laughs> <laughs> um, good morning, everyone. Um, well, I felt like a cat. I thought I felt like a cat, but somebody took the cat. And then I was thinking, OK, I kind of feel like Chula, like my dog because I'm excited to go hiking today. I didn't go last time and I'm excited, nervous, but I'm ready to run around and have a good time. So I feel like my dog today, a dog. Perfect. So thank you everybody for sharing. That was a little interesting and fun. Uh, and that's one thing about these power-up meetings. That's what they're supposed to be is just have a good time and learn, share, open up. So um, what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna invite uh, two people to, uh, share personal experience related to this week's tool or last week's tool. Uh, challenges in applying the tool are also discussed. So for me, um, I wanna share a little bit about claim responsibility uh, for the majority of my life. Um, I lived as a criminal, um, 28 years in prison, like the first 20 years I committed crimes and, and got in trouble. And a lot of times I didn't know why that was happening. And until I came across the tool claim responsibility, um, I wasn't able to claim responsibility for the present because I haven't owned up to the past. And uh, so one thing that happened was um, growing up about five years old, my mother, Coach Taylor, don't get sad. She hates my stories. 
Um, so uh, my mother suffered from alcoholism and depression. I walk out to use the restroom about three in the morning and she tells me, you know, the reason I had you was to keep your dad around. And as I grew up, I feel like, man, I'm a failure. Like I couldn't keep my dad around. And then at 13, she says, you know, uh, I know you're gang banging. I know you're selling drugs. Just don't get caught. And there's a part of me that was happy about that because I could do whatever I want. But there's a deeper part of me that felt um, that I was worthless and that I was unloved and unlovable. So what I did is I committed crimes and got involved with gangs and stuff like that to find the love. So as I uh, incorporated claim responsibility, I no longer allowed my past to dictate my future. I was responsible for today and my choices and, and asked myself, are these the best choices for me and my future and those around me? I think it kind of goes back to what Gilbert said about the um, ladybug, you know, like being positive and bringing smiles and happiness to everybody. So uh, I want to invite maybe two people to share their experience with um, claim responsibility or um, one of the tools. If you could raise your hand, James. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Johnny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cl claiming responsibility. Uh, you know, when I had the opportunity uh, to go through the Gogi when we was at Soledad, uh, uh, it was a wonderful opportunity because for me, it was unique because I was incarcerated for a murder I didn't commit, right? Mm -hmm. So how do I go to the board and, and explain or, 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 or demonstrate insight, responsibility, and remorse? So uh, 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 go, um, using this tool, though, it helped me show that I needed to take responsibility for my lifestyle, my lifestyle that I was living before my incarceration because I was a gang member, right? I was committing crimes. I just wasn't uh, uh, guilty of the crime that I was in jail for. So uh, uh, once I start like realizing like how I even put myself in a, in a group that could be accused of a murder, I knew that it was my, uh, 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 my actions and my decisions that I once used to make to put myself in a light to even be accused. And, and, and just utilizing that, uh, 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 that those exercises in this and me going to the board, uh, I went to the board and got found suitable. You know, and that used to be unheard of going to the board for getting found suitable and maintaining your actual innocence. Mm -hmm. uh, the day I went to the board, uh, the lady named Jennifer Schaefer's that was over the board of prison terms, and she was there. And uh, after they found me suitable, they said she said that uh, uh, Mr. Nelson came in here today and, and demonstrated why when an inmate come in here and, and claim their actual innocence, it shouldn't preclude them from being found suitable. So uh, I'll forever be uh, 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 indebted to these tools because. They helped me, they helped me. They not only helped me change my life, uh, they helped me now uh, have a new way of living. And uh, going back to the ladybug, like every Johnny was sharing on, you know, just being a servant, you know. So um, I, I won't take up too much time because I know others want to share, but that's how that tool really helped me. Thank you. Perfect, thank you. Uh, anybody else like to share? Uh, Jonathan? Yeah, so I, I love this tool, Claim Responsibility. Um, because it's a tool that helps us uh, look forward, not backwards. Any of us that have had the fortune of driving, you know that you can't drive safely if you're constantly looking in the rear view mirror. And so what I get from the tool playing responsibility is that it's like, what kind of vision do I want to live for myself? And then start to identify, like, what are the choices and the steps that I need to make to, to live into that future? I was having a conversation with the person yesterday and I said, listen, the past is instructive. It's informative. We can use that for information on what things we want to continue and what things we want to avoid. But let's fight and resist the temptation to get stuck in the past and drill in the past and allow the past to chain us to uh, uh, something that we don't want for ourselves. And, and if we, if we, if we, can't resist that temptation will forever be stagnant. So claim responsibility is a, is a tool where I can constantly keep myself uh, a focus on like, where do I want to go in life? Let me cast that, that, that vision for myself. Let me be ambitious. Let me be courageous and let me move forward. Perfect. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, so at this time, we're going to pass it to Tanil to do a quick review. Okay. Claim responsibility objective. As a tool, claim responsibility provides a sense of ownership you can use to make the best decisions available today. Use claim responsibility as a tool for decisions today so you become aware that actions and reactions to life's inevitable challenges are yours to choose. 
Statement of Tool Ownership. Today, I used my tool claim responsibility to inform each action and reaction to life's challenges. When I use claim responsibility, I am able to move beyond my past choices and design my responses with greater wisdom and clarity. I ask myself, am I proud of this choice? Keywords, am I proud of this choice? My actions and reactions today are not tethered to the past unless I do the tethering. Basics. Claim responsibility is a tool to empower you with choices supporting your goals for the future. While it is important to claim responsibility and learn from past actions, to use claim responsibility, the Gogi tool, you focus exclusively on today's decisions. When you focus your decisions today, when you focus on your decisions today, you may find more powerful decisions are possible when you are not heavily burdened with mistakes of the past. There is a time and place for you to claim responsibility for the past, and there's a time and place for you to learn how to make better decisions for the future. Claim responsibility as a tool permits that skill for the future to be developed. Claim responsibility for today. Using this tool today permits you to ask question, Am I proud of this choice I'm about to make? This tool is utilized best when used for a specific choice on a specific day in a specific situation. In this way, you are not dragging past choices into the situation. To use this tool, you simply consider three fundamental parts of the brain you have control over. The smart part, emotional part, and old habit part. Claim responsibility for the past. Using the claim responsibility tool to reconcile decisions of the past permits you to consider options that might have been available that you did not consider. Great point. Thank you, uh, Tanil. <clears throat> awesome job. So at this time, we're going to do a group activity. Uh, one thing that, that I've come to understand is that um, when we work together and, and talk about certain things, um, it gives us an opportunity to kind of like brainstorm and find more than one answer. And one thing, um, so me and Jonathan work uh, as alcohol and drug counselors and um, the activity that I, I wanna describe to you first kind of relates to something I experienced uh, today, uh, this last week. So what happened was um, we're gonna invite somebody to share a common scenario of conflict. Group members discuss what claim responsibility tool could be used to reduce conflict. Another volunteer offers a different scenario and the process is repeated. So the first scenario that I wanna offer is <clears throat> we um, had a couple people relapse at our facility. Um, they use methamphetamine. And um, the interesting thing is we're in a drug treatment facility. You're not supposed to be using drugs. So what happened is um, one guy um, is there um, and he's there just because the grace of the, the director and the grace of God. And um, he decided to uh, use uh, methamphetamine. And, you know, we had a conversation with him. Um, Jonathan was there and, and some, you may think it's crazy, but some people are blaming COVID-19 for relapses. And um, I was like, okay, well, you still have the power. Like COVID-19 doesn't have the power. The drug doesn't have the power. So try to, um, so what is one way that we can, um, that gentleman could have used claim responsibility uh, to prevent a relapse? Because relapse is something that happens a lot out here. Uh, I was talking to somebody yesterday who uh, has somebody in his facility where he stays just OD twice already since he's been out. And relapse is a huge issue out here. So what is uh, one way that someone can use claim responsibility to prevent a relapse? Danny? Uh, for, me, for me, I think it's, uh, it's understanding uh, the internal conversations that you're making up because relapse relapse doesn't happen on the day that that you get high mm -hmm. i just you know i mean I, I i i've been there i've been there and, and relapse is not the day that that you that you decided to use meth relapse took place when you started to contemplate the thoughts so in claiming responsibility for me is being aware of your thinking you know what I mean? And once you start thinking, you know what, uh, man, getting high would be cool. That's the moment, you know what I mean, to claim responsibility. That's the moment to look at yourself and be like, you know what, those thoughts, it's what's going to set me up for failure. 
mm-hmm. it's going to set me up for for relapse so i think it's very important to be aware of your thoughts and be real with yourself you know i mean uh, uh those thoughts will start taking place a week two weeks a month before mm-hmm. you even relapse so so for 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 the guys that are going to watch this video I say, I say, pay attention to your thinking. Perfect. Pay attention to, to, to your thinking process and be aware and be real with yourself when you start thinking about making pruno, uh, smoking a joint. You know I mean, whatever, whatever the issue might be, it begins with your thinking. And that thinking eventually two weeks later, however long, it's going to lead to a relapse. So be aware of that. That's 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 the way I look at it. Perfect. Thank you, Danny. A uh, great point. Uh, that's one thing that I share with a lot of our clients is like a uh, glass pipe just doesn't appear in your mouth. It, it doesn't happen like that. It begins with the thought. And as you think about it, you start um, justifying reasons to do it. You know, uh, so is there one more person that can identify a situation where uh, claim responsibility will be um, valuable? Uh, Robert. Well, we should be informed about like our thinking patterns, like uh, like Danny said, and as well as how we're feeling and, and the people we're around. All those things play intricate parts in, 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 in starting the thought process to not be responsible and start to entertain those thoughts that ultimately lead to a relapse. So it's, a, it's important to notice what hasn't worked in the past. Like what kind of thinking thoughts, emotions, places, people, who am I around? Why am I thinking about this? Why am I, I'm, uh, why am I giving myself permission? Those are, the, you know, like I learned a long time ago and a lot of guys I know feel the same way. Like my best thinking got me to prison mm-hmm. based on the value system that I had before. I didn't value sobriety. I didn't value people. I didn't value myself. I didn't value what I thought or what I, or what I felt. And I did a lot of things that, cause a lot of pain and suffering to a lot of people and, and myself as well, because I wasn't using the information that was in front of me to like, as a catalyst to move forward in life, you know, to, or as uh, a, a, a pivot to, ch- to change my life. So, you know, if my best thinking got me in prison then I have to change my thinking and that's relying on the information of the past and asking for help, which would be something new and a responsible, a responsible tactic that I could take to move forward. And that's, that's key for claiming responsibility is figuring out what can I do? What shouldn't I do? What did I do before? How did it work out for me? You know, and if it didn't work, then it's probably not what I want to do. So that's, that's what I got. Yeah. Thank you, Robert. And it's kind of, it goes back to the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Um, you know, eventually get caught up in that cycle and, and it's going to be, uh, not the best situation for you and the others you say that you love. Uh, so at this time, we're going to uh, work on our weekly statement of intention. So everybody is going to um, have uh, 30 seconds or less to identify um, a goal of the week. So I'll go first and then I'll pick somebody. So for me, I'm, uh, my goal of the week is to make it out the woods alive with my wife and my dog and the guys that I'm with. So if I don't see you next week, you know what happened. Mm-hmm. And um, other than that, like I just, uh, it's something new. I went, uh, we're supposed to go camping. Uh, Went and spent like $150. Found out we're not going camping. So that's okay. Plan for the future, it's an investment. (laughs) So um, at this time, I'm gonna pass it to um, Ludi. Well, I guess what is the goal of my week? Well, actually half of the week. Finish with all the mail. (laughs) <laughs> that never yeah, ends. That never. <laughs> never ends. Well, and uh, I already finished one yesterday, and that is my goal. Finish all the mail, all accents, because that is very important for me. And well, that's my goal. I don't go anywhere because the coronavirus. So that's my goal. So really quick, um, uh, for Ludi, uh, those uh, the students of Gogi, in case you have received a postcard or a letter uh, from Ludi, this is the 
famous Ludi, and uh, we thank her. And Ludi, the her. famous. <laughs> and uh, she's done amazing work, and we actually have the opportunity to work with each other and and uh, get information to you guys. So this is Ludi. Make sure you guys treat her well. Um, Lou, you want to pick somebody? Okay. Uh, I pick, um, let me see, Tenille. So I was thinking how I could use claim responsibility every day. And I know I get in the tendencies of just doing my day. I do my work. I go to bed. <laughs> and that's about all I do. So I think every day I'm going to try to do something new and productive and positive. And I think that is going to be how I get out of my loop of not doing anything too um, beneficial for myself or taking care of myself. So I think I am doing beneficial things. I'm, I'm editing a book and we're writing a new book. So it's very exciting and we're going to get that done soon. So I'm also, that's a goal of the week too, is to get that one done. I am going to pass it to Ernesto. Thank you. Okay, uh, my goal of the week is uh, to stay busy. Hopefully with work, I get blessed with some work. I wanna take advantage of all the work I can get. And also uh, at the end of this week, I wanna contact my parole agent. Uh, he told me to contact him two weeks before my end date for transition. My transition period ends on uh, June the 14th. So uh, on Friday, I'm going to blow up my parole agent's phone and let him know to put in for my transfer. Metaphorically. And, and yeah, so, uh, yeah. so <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, gonna to pray that my uh, transfer goes through. Uh, if not, I got to find, you know, I, I got to find a... a uh, a place to stay here up in San Diego. Uh, I don't have anybody up here, so uh, you know, well, uh, we can uh, always make something happen. But uh, that's my goal for the week. Now, pass to Cynthia. Okay. Um, my goal of the week is to um, stay more positive. Um, I find that. Um, I've been negative in my thoughts and my actions, not intentionally, but I guess I'm just negative. I thought I was a positive person, but now mm -hmm. <laughs> I've you know noticed that um, things have come up. And so I have been a little negative. So I need to stay positive, stay more upbeat. And um, I need to prepare also. My daughter will be having twins in about six months we'll be grandparents mm -hmm. and so yeah we got to stay mm -hmm. yeah i know we wanted one she came out with two but okay <laughs> that works too um mm -hmm. so yeah i i i want to stay more positive more productive more um you know just just live a happier lifestyle i guess i'm not too happy so you know not, i'm not living the happy life so i need to you know work on that that's something i want to work on and i pick jonathan All right. Uh, so I'm going to share a little bit. So last week I said I had to make a business decision. Um, one of the one of the fortunes of creating a vision for myself and being intentional and using like the tool of claim responsibility and walking into that, I've been able to have a whole bunch of beautiful and wonderful opportunities. So I was actually given a job opportunity to come work at Salinas Valley State Prison. In in the uh, El Top reentry uh, uh, programs, unfortunately, I had to turn it down because the circumstances just didn't work out. Um, plus, I enjoy working with Johnny because he always feeds me. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, plus, there were some other things because it was more important also to be around family. So that's what happened last week. This week, oh, and surprisingly they actually gave a parolee a security clearance. So I just wanted to share that with everyone. That How long you been out? To, I, I've been, at, so I'm still on parole and I've been out for about eight months. So I just wanted to share that with everyone who's watching that. If you're doing what you're doing and you are being responsible, you it's very real that you'll reap benefits and you'll be able to establish trust by people who you may think that you're not trustworthy. Um, this week, 
my goal is to um, be 100% committed to my clients with uh, at the facility that I work with Johnny and also get acclimated to my part-time job at a detox center also. Thank you. Um, I will pass it over to Carolyn. I like to refer to my um, Gogi app on my phone because I seem to always have my phone with me. Mm -hmm. I was reviewing before today's um, Zoom meeting. When it says, I own today, I ask myself, am I proud of this choice? From the moment forward, I claim responsibility for all my actions and my reactions. And that kind of got me, the reactions. Because mm -hmm. I had open heart surgery uh, yesterday, was 11 weeks ago. I never signed up to be a nurse. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't even think when we got married that I did say in sickness and in health, because we wrote our own vows. So I'm not remembering whether I did or didn't. However, um, my son has reminded me that when I am kind of upset, uh, my reaction to some of my husband's um, demands on me, <laughs> when I think now he's over the hump, and so James reminded me that, Mom, claim your responsibility for your reactions. So... I don't, I think that that's what I really need to work on before what I would do is we live in a three-story house. So if he's upstairs, which he is now, I just come downstairs mm -hmm. <laughs> and have the separation. But um, I like that part that it just says claim responsibility for my actions and my reactions. So that's what I'm working on this week, my reactions. Perfect. And um, I'll pick Coach Carlson. Something really quick uh, before we oh, yes. uh, go on. Um, we want to know, uh, let every, all the Gogi students know that um, Ms. Carolyn uh, actually has a son who's incarcerated, uh, who is a, a coach with Gogi. So we also want to invite your families to, to take part in these meetings, um, start meetings, you know, do power up meetings, get these tools, uh, incorporate them into your life. And we really want to thank Carolyn for being here. Like she's a gift. And it's she Thank you. Time. Thank you very much. And Coach Carlson, James says hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Coach James. I said hello. Um, I think I will really go straight to the tool and, and work on two things this week. The first is being more of a more collaborative and more of a, a team player. I think with all of this social distancing, sometimes we feel alone and we say, you know what, I'm just going to handle it on my own. And we don't invite other people into our into our um, our workflow. And we say, I'm just going to handle it. And I think that um, I need to collaborate better with um, some of my coworkers and 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 really communicate better so that um, life feels a little bit more connected and maybe even a little bit easier. And then I think on the other end of claim responsibility, I think I'm going to claim responsibility for disconnecting from technology once a day for a period of time. Um, I think that getting off the computer, getting off the phone, and just belly breathing for 20 to 30 minutes or maybe even an hour a day will be very beneficial to me. So I'm going to claim responsibility for, I think, my mental, mental and physical well-being this week. And I will pass to, let's see, Roberto. My intention for the week is to start, like, planning short-term goals and knocking them out one by one. Working on my finances and fixing my my credit is one that I need to really get on top of, and uh, just working uh, finishing up my educational components and moving forward. And of course, one that's very important that I need to work on a little bit more is being more intentional about the relationships that I'm in with people and how I um, communicate with them and interact with them. Uh, with that, I will pass it off to Gilbert. All right, so my intention for this week is to, I know how important support letters are and how they helped me tremendously when I went to board. And I have two of my uh, buddies that are scheduled to go in August. And uh, for this week, I'm going to make sure that I get their support letters in the mail by the end of the, uh, end of the week. So 
You know, they have a, a they have all their stuff in line and they don't have to worry about, oh man, I'm gonna am I gonna get it on time? So, you know, that's my intention for this week. And I'm gonna pass it to Danny. Yeah, for this week, I'm going to claim responsibility for how I'm showing up in my relationships with uh, with coworkers and just people people uh, that I'm in relationships with. I think that's uh, that's important for me to be aware of and uh, and claim responsibility on how I'm showing up with them and and experiencing the relationship and being where it is. So, with that, I'll pass it on to. James? All right. All right. Thank you, bro. Uh, uh, well, for me, um, this week, uh, what I'm going to do is, as far as claiming responsibility and, uh, and, and, and stay focused on for this week, is uh, uh, getting this program up and going. Uh, I'm doing a collaboration with a program in Silmar called Theo Chuchas. And the program is for a uh, forever rooted program that I do at my job. But it's for formerly incarcerated folks coming home. And uh, but we're trying to get them hooked up with this Zoom calls too, because uh, you know, uh, it, it's just a wonderful opportunity, you know, because we all go through these tools, but uh, we also human too. So I just think it's like uh, uh, exercising. Uh, 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 the more reps you do, uh, the better your workout become. The, the better your physique start to look. So uh, I think it's the same for the brain, right? So uh, I just uh, uh, enjoy every time I get in a meeting to just rehash or go over some of the things that 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 we already know, but just need to be reminded of. So uh, 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 that's what I'm gonna be doing this week. So uh, thank you guys. Uh, Coach Ivanka, how you went? Hello. Um, let's see. This week, I would like to claim responsibility with my reactions. I think I've been a little irritated, probably because I've been cooped up in the house, but I would like to practice more gratitude. Absolutely. I think gratitude can go a really long way. And I'd also like to check in on my six-year-old nephew a lot more this week. I think this is really getting to him. I think it's really hard for kids. I think they're confused and don't know how to navigate this weird time. So I think I really want to check in, make sure my nephew is okay. Um, I would like to pass it to Coach Taylor. <laughs> so this week I'm going to claim responsibility for remaining like the baby sloth. I do want this whole week to be very deliberate and gentle and kind and slow moving. So I'm going to claim responsibility and use that tool to remain like a baby sloth. And raise your hand if you have not gone. Coach Catherine. Thanks all. Um, like to Neil early on, um, I don't wanna be all about work and no play. I'm a human being, not just a human doing. So I, uh, I claim responsibility for making more balance in my life with that, prioritizing myself so I can be there for others as well. So that's where I'm at. I do think I might be the last one. So I'm gonna shoot it over to you, Coach Johnny Howe. Thank you. Uh, so all students at Gogi unite with our Gogi Pledge of Service. This pledge defines our purpose and is repeated at the end of the community meeting. Remaining in your peer mentor circles like we are, uh, each group will rotate, uh, leading the pledge for the larger group. So as we close the Power Up Community meeting, uh, we're gonna ask Ms. Ludi to read the uh, pledge at this time. Hey. May our commitment to the study of Gogi grant us the joy of giving and receiving so that our inner freedom may be of maximum service to those we love and infinite others. Great job, thank you. Let's give everybody a hand. Uh, great seeing you guys again, Chula. Uh, she needs to get her hair did. She needs uh, her hair and then um, other than that, thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, we'll see you guys soon next week, eight o'clock. Bye, everyone. All right. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, everyone.